Alright guys, so I just came out from the MediaTek booth here at Comedytech 2025. It was super crowded, so we found a pretty nice spot over here. My badge is still on, and I want to share with you something really exciting that's happening from MediaTek. Let's check out a couple of points that I also have in my Dimensity Power Phone, brand new chipset, 9400E. Very, very powerful. Let's talk a bit about that. Now, the first thing here, uh, the theme for this year for MediaTek is all about AI for everyone. And they're not just talking about AI as a buzzword. They are actually implementing a lot of cool things that eventually you will see in your phones, some of them which you already experience now. So let's see. So over the past six years, the MediaTek actually gained a lot of performance. In terms of their CPU, it has gained three times more powerful. Their GPU is now 7.4 times more powerful than before. And the NPU, which is going to be helping out your AI agents, your AI uh, functionalities and all that has grown by 29 times guys that's huge numbers uh, produced from Minitech so anyway the new chipsets uh, that we are looking at today is actually the 9400 plus and 9400e the Dimensity chipsets of course so the most cool thing that I found at the show is that Mediatek is actually working on their next-gen flagship level chipset that's taping out in September. It's going to be a 2 nanometer chipset. It's going to deliver 15% more performance at a 25% reduced power consumption compared to their 3 nanometer chipset. That means a lot of power coming up. It's going to be their brand new flagship chipset. So very exciting stuff. It's coming super soon. It's already made. That means we've got 4 months more to go before we can actually see this brand new 2 nanometer chipset. It's crazy. So what's going to come on there, obviously, is going to be improved GPU and MPUs as well. That's going to make AI even more faster. A lot of on-device processes going to be happening on here. Uh, so you don't always have to rely on the cloud. Everything is just going to be happening so much more quicker. Now, other than that, speaking about AI, there's a couple of uh, AI features that they actually showed off at the show as well. So first up, there was this Super Gen AI Telephoto and for this particular demo, they actually brought up the Vivo X200 Pro. You could clearly see that it's really amazing when it comes to zoom performance. It actually zooms in super far away and that's a phone that we have already tested out on the channel as well. You can check that out. It really performs as it was said. Now, furthermore, MediaTek also showed off their AI audio isolation. So I was at the booth where they actually played played an audio track real quick and that was when the guy beside me was actually speaking. So what he did was remove his voice totally through AI and you could hear the music so much more clearer. And bear in mind, this is in a very noisy environment. For AI to be able to understand which noise needs to be removed, I think that's pretty clever. Uh, furthermore, we also have one pretty cool uh, demo here. I'm not sure what the name is called, but it actually stop motion. So there's this really cute mechanical bird that's just flapping its wings and all that. But when you take a photo using the media type powered chipsets, you can see that it was able to freeze time and you could see the entire wings and all that being stopped in motion so that's pretty cool so those are just a couple of a brand new ai features that you should probably be already able to experience right now or some more that will be coming real soon so those are just a couple of really cool features in terms of the mobile space but ultimately you can already see that MediaTek is putting in a lot of efforts not just to give you even more power a better efficiency but also even stronger kind of mpus for their next gen ai that's coming to everyone speaking about that another two more cool things that i found here is that uh, MediaTek is also being very present in the automotive space. So you might not know this, but a lot of uh, cars these days, we are all going towards smart cars, uh, EVs and all that. And they are actually the chips that are actually being powered, the infotainment system. So we actually have this AI-driven cockpit systems. I was able to see a very quick demo. You can see just how fluid the entire large screen was operating. It also powers their ADAS systems, which is their safety systems. You could change a lot of your settings all using that MediaTek powered chipset. And I think it's just pretty cool. The car system are actually sort of like an extension to your own mobile system so you can see a lot of features being brought into your car to make it more entertainment focused as well. People sitting at the back will have more access to not just games but also movies on a very smooth processor. Last but not least, there's also a very quick mention about the smart home and how AIoT is being powered by MediaTek. So there's a pretty cool demo that I saw where a delivery actually arrived at your doorstep. Now using a couple of cameras here and there, the AI vision can actually detect what is actually in the package what you ordered. You can ask it all kind of stuff. Who bought it? When was it bought? And what's actually the content of the box without even going out to receive the parcel. So that's also a couple of cool new AI tech that uh, MediaTek is actually working in the space right now that you guys will probably be able to experience. Oh, by the way, do you know that MediaTek is actually expanding their partnership with NVIDIA? They're developing custom silicon for AI data centers and that's super cool, but more about that next time. So that pretty much wraps up my very quick summary here at the MediaTek booth Computex 2025. Again, a lot of exciting new stuff is coming in. Uh, even more power, like I said, for the mobile space, especially where you guys are the most concerned about. With that said, thank you so much for joining me here at Taiwan, uh, Computex 2025. 
I think I should go out and explore the space here and take a couple more photos. I look forward to seeing you guys back in Malaysia. Let me know if you have any more comments or if you want to find out more about what MediaTek is doing with the Diamond City chipsets and all that in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe and bye-bye.